Title, NFL Bigwig Troy Vincent Tackles Domestic Abuse with Groundbreaking Study. CL, DR. NFL Vice President, Troy Vincent, partners up with Niagara University for an innovative domestic abuse study aiming to redefine the conversation and unearth new strategies to combat this societal menace. The goal. Understand triggers that lead young men to violence, especially on campuses. The question that begs, will this research and subsequent action plan give rise to a more empathetic generation? In a world where machismo often overshadows empathy, NFL Vice President Troy Vincent is taking a stand, or rather, snapping the ball into play on a crucial societal issue. Vincent, known for his vocal opposition to domestic abuse, is pairing up with Niagara University for a year-long study exploring the triggers of violence among young men, particularly on college campuses. Faced with disturbing stats that illustrate gender-based violence as an enduring issue, Vincent is determined to go deep and tweak his outreach approach. If he's been in the game for nearly 30 years, why is he still dealing with the same stats, the same issues, and the same frustrations? Could it be a message misfire? Is there a breakdown in communication between generations? Here's the deal. College women aged 18 to 24 are three times more likely to be victims of abuse, according to the Rape, Abuse, and Incest National Network. That's a heart-rending stat and one that demands action. But will a campus-focused research project bring about the change needed? Will it get us closer to a world free of such violence? Stepping away from any official NFL backing, Vincent is making this initiative a personal one, one he shares with his wife Tommy, the chairwoman of the National Domestic Violence Hotline. It seems appropriate to ask, with such heavyweight involvement, can the Vincent Commission make a genuine impact? Or will their influence add fuel to the already blazing spotlight on this societal issue? Vincent's approach? Leverage student athletes as advocates, utilizing their high-profile platforms to speak out. If they're the ones closest to the problem, could they also be the ones closest to the solution? Does popularity necessarily equate to influence, and if so, can this influence be harnessed for meaningful change? So, why Niagara University? Well, it seems that Vincent has a history of collaborating with the institution during his time with the Buffalo Bills. Plus, the university runs a Department of Justice-funded program on violence prevention and education. But does the existence of such a program signal an institution that's more prepared to take on this type of research? Can past collaborations truly shape future successes? With Jennifer Beebe, a Niagara Associate Professor, helming the research, there is a focus on men in leadership roles. The goal? Find the right questions to ask to potentially nudge the needle of change. But do we even know what the right questions are, oh, and once found, can they truly spark a societal shift? At the end of the 12 to 18 month research period, the plan is to use the findings to establish new policies and create an educational program for use at other schools. So, are we on the verge of a revolutionary approach to combating domestic violence on campuses? Will this study mark the beginning of a change in how we approach and tackle this pervasive issue? Remember, friends, this isn't about football, touchdowns, or winning seasons. It's about the game of life and ensuring every player feels safe.